Developing right now, a double murder suspects spending their first night in jail after this tense scene played out in the St. George neighborhood. Multiple homeowners capturing this moment. The suspect was taken into custody after an hours long manhunt. In the last 90 minutes, we have obtained the jail documents identifying the two people killed. They are, as neighbors told us earlier, the suspect's own parents. St. George police arrested the suspect about eight miles from the Washington home where the shooting happened. New specialist Alex Cabrera live in the neighborhood where the manhunt ended. And Alex, you have been looking over those new documents here. What are you learning tonight? Yeah, yeah according to those court documents, Mike and Dini, the victims in this case are Gail and Joseph Bailey, who are the parents of the suspect, Mia Bailey, and that they were shot several times. Also, according to that court paperwork, Bailey told police there was no remorse and that, quote, I would do it again. I hate them. Bailey also bragged about being able to evade law enforcement. But earlier this morning in the St. George neighborhood, Bailey was found in the thick brush back there just in front of a wall. Things like this always happen in someone else's neighborhood. Insane. Wednesday morning, though, it happened where Natalie Shaw lives. And that's when we got the shelter in place message. And I was like, what? Just down the road in her St. George neighborhood, police had a double murder suspect surround it. And since police knew that person had a gun, they wanted everyone to be as safe as possible. Looked out through our windows and you can see straight and there was 10 police cars, a SWAT car. And we were like, okay, what is happening? And Neighbors shared videos of what they were seeing. Police say 28-year-old Mia Bailey was hiding in the bushes off 28th East and 10th South. Bailey is suspected of shooting and killing two people in a Washington City home last night. And it took a negotiations team to get Bailey to give up. This isn't the end for her, right? We, we want to make sure that, that she knows that and that we're going to treat her the correct way and in a fair way. Make sure, you know, our justice system is followed and that she gets the respect that she needs. Neighbors say the two people killed were Bailey's parents and that there were issues between the parents and Bailey about Bailey's transition from a man to a woman. There was already um, volatility and, and bad vibes going with within the family. Police are still investigating the exact motive. Either way, this neighborhood is now back to normal, which Shaw is thankful for. I'm so glad that it turned out how it did and that nobody else was harmed. Bailey is now in the Washington County Jail. The court documents also state that Bailey's brother and the brother's wife were in a room behind a locked door and that Bailey had shot at them. It wouldn't have been said if that bullet killed the brother. The family stated that they had feared Bailey for some time now. Mike and Dini, no doubt this is a case that is certainly going to get a lot more attention as it progresses forward. Yeah, Thank we you. were covering this all night and all day today and uh, some intense situations right. there, especially for that neighborhood. Alex, great coverage today. Thank you. That shelter in place alert mentioned in Alex's story was sent to phones by law enforcement. They say it helped find a suspect with people calling in tips while also keeping the public safe and informed. St. George Police encouraging everyone out there to sign up for the alerts. You can do so by going to the St. George Police page, click on Dispatch 911, and then click on the link at the bottom of that page. We also have a link on our website that is ksltv.com.